The latest as far as the Augusta Westland investigation is concerned. Former Air Chief SP Tyagi was put to sustain questioning by the CBI for the fourth time on Monday. His interrogation is expected to continue today as well. He was quizzed on who influenced the decision to reduce flying altitude of helicopters to meet the tender requirements. Sources say his answer was that he was not the sole decision-making person or authority. From other agencies were also present in the March 2005 meeting where the decision was taken. So he's saying that he was not alone. There were others also who took this decision collectively. And this could seem to be a plausible defense. He was grilled about his series of meetings with two Italian middlemen, Hashke and Gerosa, who visited India on behalf of Augusta Westland to help the company clinch the deal. The agency officers confronted Tyagi with the Italian court's records, which showed that he had met the middlemen at least six times. Investigating agencies have reasons to suspect that Tyagi's meetings with the middlemen could have played a major role in the Augusta Westland in order to clinch that deal, investigations have also revealed that Tyagi and his brothers were in touch with Gautam Khetan, who through Chandigarh-based company Aerometrics received foreign funds in the shape of FDIs. We've got Atir Khan joining us live with all the latest at this moment. Atir, when uh, Mr. S.P. Tyagi, the former air chief, says that he was not alone in having taken this decision, then this politically comes as bad news for the, the then dispensation that is the UPA and good news for the present dispensation which has been saying all throughout that there was involvement at the highest levels in the government back then. Well, you see, uh, at this point of time, uh, Sanket, it's difficult to say. A decision was taken and what uh, uh, former Air Chief Tyagi is trying to say is that he was not the only one. There were a number of other officials who had taken this de decision. Now, this, this decision could be... Uh, could be wrong, it could be correct, it could be bona fide. So all these aspects have to be looked into. You know, when we look at uh, the decision being correct, you know, we know that, uh, you know, former uh, VVIPs or, uh, uh, you know, the Prime Minister, the President did not fly the, uh, that high altitude at 6,000 feet after independence. But if we look at the decision uh, which was taken in the meeting, yes, uh, Air Chief Tyagi is right. Uh, it cannot be his sole decision. Uh, there was a meeting which happened in which several officials participated and all of their, you know, um, their views were taken and then the decision of the majority uh, was taken. Mm. Uh, however, the question here now, Sanket, is that uh, uh, Chief Tyagi is being questioned for the money which was received by his brothers and also cases made out that he also received some cash. But now he's been questioned four times by the CBI. But they have not been able to get a clinching piece of evidence against him. And that's why, you know, sort of perhaps he's uh, disappointed in some way that he's being called over and over again for questioning. Uh, the CBI is yet to make a concrete case, a solid case against him. You know, uh, uh, he, his visiting Italy after his retirement cannot be a case. Uh, maybe he started consultancy, he had floated companies. So these are the questions uh, which the CBI is trying That's to right. probe and find a, find, find a handle uh, to, you know, sort of uh, take on uh, Air Chief Tyagi. Absolutely. Atir Khan, many thanks for joining us. Now, with just a day to go for Manohar Parikar's tabling of what could be damning documents in the Augusta Westland deal, the Congress is expected to continue its offensive against the Defence Minister. Parikar had recently challenged the Congress to show the order by the UPA government confirming the blacklisting of Augusta Westland's parent company, Finn Mechanica. We've got Javed Ansari, our executive editor, joining us live at this moment. Javed, uh, do we have information on what Mr. Manohar Parikar is likely to show in Parliament? Look, it's now been established that Mr. Uh, the the firm was not blacklisted, but that process process had started was started by Mr. A. K. Antony once he learnt uh, once he learnt of certain wrongdoings in the Acosta Westland deal. The you know it's blacklisting a company is a long drawn process. It cannot happen just because the minister decides to to sign on the dotted line. 
there has to be an inquiry and that company has to be found guilty it's only then can you do, can you do that so facts as they stand, stand now and uh, as we know them to be are that mm. mr anthony started that process uh, the the government went uh, went out there was a new government in place they took the advice of the mr anthony in right. his time took the advice of the solicitor general the new government took the advice of the attorney general and they and it was then decided that take while they will not be given any fresh orders they will be allowed to complete some of the commitments at the previous contracts that they had absolutely sanket absolutely many thanks javed ansari for joining us with all the latest we are welcome <laughs>